What are we making today? I'm gonna be honest. We're getting a little fucking unhinged today. I mean, today. Let's be fair. We're always doing weird shit like this. Every day, all day, every day. We're going full savory gang. I'm kind of feeling that the, the, the summer is coming to an end. That's why we're moving to Mexico. We're at summer forever, baby. But here in the States, it is tomato season, which means it's BLT season. Oh yeah, Woo! One of my favorite things ever, as you guys know, is a ripe summer tomato. It's one of the best flavors there is. Salted tomato syrup, spoiler alert, from the Mezcal Manzanilla tomato marg video. The recipe for the salted tomato syrup is just one to one tomatoes, sugar, and 1% salt. Super delicious. It's one of my favorite syrups to keep on hand. It has saltiness. It has a natural kind of umami. It's naturally kind of tart. And obviously it's a syrup, so it's sweet. So you're getting like all of the flavor kind of balanced in one syrup. And it's bringing a lot to the table for such an easy recipe. So I wanted to use this syrup again in a different recipe and incorporate something that we tried recently that kind of blew my fucking mind. Adding mayonnaise straight up to the drink. But we had this other margarita that had a mayonnaise fat wash, mezcal, mayonnaise mezcal, and it was really good. I think that I could have gotten a little bit further with it. And so that's what we're doing today. We're going all, we're going full tilt, full fat, all the way in a BLT cocktail. Let's go. Let's fucking go. Let me go through these ingredients. So obviously we have the mayo. Duke's is the way to go for, for me. You do whatever you need. You're not sponsored, I fucking love Dukes though. We have this, which I didn't get to finish, but you, you know the drill, you've seen it all before. It's, it's, uh, it's the same maceration technique that you've seen a million times on this channel. We have a fresh tomato from the garden, chopped up equal parts by weight of sugar. This has been sitting for about probably 16 hours. Maybe, maybe it's, it's been about a day. I don't know how long it's been. It does not have salt yet because usually I strain it and weigh the yield and then I add 1% salt to the yield. Tomato syrup. Next, bacon fat washed poblano agave spirit. Man, that's a, you wanna let me, yeah, let me grab this. The nice people at Mean Mule in Kansas City sent us this bottle after I saw it on their like story or something. And I was like, that sounds rad and they sent us a bottle, which is so nice of them. And it is, it's really, really cool. So it's a poblano and agave spirit, really crisp, vegetal, clean. Think like tequila, but more like pepper, like green pepper veggie kind of vibe. So I thought it would be a really nice like base for this. And then we basically just took that and added some bacon fat to it. I let it sit for about 45 minutes, froze it for about an hour and then strained it off. And it, it works. I mean, it's a little bit salty, meaty, tastes like bacon, but also has that really nice fresh green crispness underneath. This is the last uh, ingredient and the thing I'm kind of most intrigued by or excited by. It's a <laughs> lettuce infused lemon juice. Fresh-ish lemon, I think, I guess it's like a day or two old now, that I infused with some romaine lettuce, like shreddis really. And I was gonna use the shreddis in like a salad or something, but it got a little like sad, so maybe don't let it infuse for like too, too long. Make sure it stays crisp before you use it. I just smelled it and it smells like fucking <laughs> Lemon and romaine. I want to give it a taste. Smell this. I mean, <laughs> it's kind what of insane, it? like how well that worked. Oh, wow. That's actually good, right? What do you feel? I hate shreddis. I hate it. You know I know this. you do. But that tastes just like, like good. It tastes like a vinaigrette. Yeah, it's salady for sure. I'm giddy right now. I think this is gonna be really cool. Yeah. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's okay. go, let's make it. Let's do this. Okay, thing. okay, okay. I'm just gonna kind of steal a little bit here and I'm gonna fine strain this so I'm not too worried about like the seeds and stuff right now. Okay. This is so silly. <laughs> I'm just gonna steal a little bit. That's three quarter. We got our lettuce lemon juice. I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of this as well. Bacon mean meal. We're gonna go two ounces. My official measurement for this is going to be one bar spoon. 
it's for texture more than anything. It does add flavor as well, but that's about how much we're going with here. So, I mean, what is mayonnaise? It's like, it's egg. I mean, it's like egg sauce. It's like egg and oil. Yeah. Egg and oil. So, I mean, it's like, it's already emulsified. All I'm trying to say here is this isn't as unhinged as it seems. Why people don't you put just swallow that mayonnaise? <laughs> people put raw eggs in their drinks all the time, so why not mayonnaise, you know? All right. So that looks pretty fucked up right now, but uh it'll be okay. Okay. So I think one of the keys for using mayonnaise is like Shake the shit out of it and strain it. We're just gonna garnish it with some freshly cracked black pepper. So here it is, BLT cocktail, let's try it out. That is so, it's disturbing in a way because it's like, it's almost too close to an actual BLT that it almost feels like you just blended up a BLT and now you're drinking it, which doesn't sound good. It's got a really luscious kind of creamy texture. It's so weird. You get lettuce, you get tomato, you get bacon and it's like very much that. Like it is a BLT. There's no mistaking it. The lemon brings like a brightness. The mayo brings that creaminess. I mean, it just, and then there's a, like a little tiny bit of heat from the pepper. It's extremely savory. It's fucked up. I like it. Oh my God. <laughs> it's almost too successful. Instead of it being a cocktail inspired by a BLT, it's like a fucking BLT. It's too much like a BLT. It's like kind of uh, like uncanny or like off-putting. It is a BLT. <laughs> they taste the same. But do you want to drink a BLT? Probably not. No, I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I would put this on a menu. I think it's a little too on the nose. I think that there's a lot of interesting techniques happening here. Yeah, the mayo is like totally working. I think that mayo, it has like a little tangy, little creamy. It could work in so many other kind of cocktails. You have not seen the last of like mayonnaise going into the, the tin. The like infusion on the citrus is something I've been kind of curious about for a little while. Doing like a bay leaf infused lime would be cool or like even like macroot leaf in lime juice. And this just proves that that works, I guess. It tastes like lettuce. Like it straight up does have a romaine flavor. I mean, every component of this, I think is good. As, as like a whole, it's too much. It's really savory. I think a lot of people would find it really challenging. There's nothing really about it that's like disgusting. It's just kind of not what I would wanna drink, I guess. It's so savory that it like, it satisfies that like, hunger more than a thirst. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I loved making more mayonnaise drinks. If you guys wanna see something else or if you have another mayonnaise dish or something that we could try, let's try it. Egg salad, let's go. Oh my God. If you try it, please do let me know. But most of you, I think, could probably skip this one. <laughs> We are moving. We're excited to share more of that experience. So look out for some more videos, maybe on travel and exploring different cuisines, trying out new foods and turning them into drinks. This has been super fun. And I mean, look how cute these mini BLTs turned out. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for being here. Catch you on the next wacky one. I'll see you then. Like and subscribe if you wanna see me drink more sandwiches. Can we just talk about the drip today? Dripping. The Crocs? Oh my God. Is the there, socks? Oh, the Crocs and socks, dude? I mean... The Dijon on stone ground is kind of crazy.